are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerds of the Apocalypse. I'm, of course, Stevie B, and that amazing person right there is... X-Tina is Ninja. X-Tina is Ninja right there. And today, we're going to discuss this this Sukaden. Okay, so the Tokyo Game Show was was last week, and and some there, there wasn't a lot of stuff that came out of Tokyo Game Show, but from what I saw, this was one of the biggest announcements and one of the most hype things that came out now i'm going to be honest when we were doing this video i i i've never played these games and i don't know much about them at all i've heard of them but that's about as far as it's gone uh the whole reason why i wanted to do this video and talk about it is because a lot of people in our community the nurse apocalypse community they got really super hyped for this game and like i felt like i should be super hyped for it too but like i, I don't i don't i don't know it like i don't know it. and they're like it's one of the greatest rpgs of all time and i'm like what 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 is happening what are you guys talking about so i, I did i wanted to do a video on it just because of how hyped everybody got and, and, and kind of discuss them a little bit and and, and, and and you guys need to convince me that, that I need to be hyped for this man let's go uh, okay so this is again during Konami uh, during the Tokyo game show they had a presentation and they announced Sukunin 1 and 2 HD your master this is from uh, where, where are we at here I think we're at rpgsite.com just to give a shout out uh, yeah we're at our rpgsite.net okay uh, can, oh, say during the company's new title announcement stage at Tokyo game show Konami has announced Sukunin 1 and 2 HD remaster Gate Ruin and Dunin Unification were set to release worldwide for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC uh, in 2023. Sukuden, known in Japan as Genso Sukuden, originally released for PlayStation in 1995. See, I wasn't the only JRPGs I was into on PlayStation were the Final Fantasy series. That's really all I played. Oh, and yeah. um, uh, oh my gosh, now, now it's forgotten me. Uh, 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 Dragoon. Uh, the. <laughs> Uh, Legend of Dragoon. Those zones are really played. Um, okay. with, its, with its sequel coming a few years later in 1998, totaling five number titles and a few spin-off entries, the Sukuden series is broadly recognized for its politically driven narrative, as well as having a large number of recruitable characters to participate in battle to provide various functions at your ever-growing base. The RPGs don't shy away from the more character-driven themes, either with Sukuden 2 especially having some of the most personal and moving character writing in the genre. The remaster brings the pair to HD visuals, adds new visuals and sound effects. Fast forward, I fucking love that. I, I love it in Trails, man. You just, you just zoom through shit. I run into enemies a lot, too, when I'm playing Trails. Uh, and autosave, that's great. Uh, conversation log, full area maps, and more. According to Steam page, the game will support uh, lots, of, lots of languages. Uh, English, French, Italian, German, simplified yeah, Chinese and Spanish subtitles. Okay, it's also worth noting that the English line in the trailer seems to indicate an updated localization for the game. That's pretty cool, though the extent of this is unknown. The announcement trailer description and screenshots uh, found below. Okay, so, so yeah, this is the announcement trailer. Uh, we, we've all probably already seen this, right? If you're watching this video, I'm sure you've already seen the announcement trailer. I did. I will say this before the stream, before we started tonight. I actually did go through and I watched this gameplay trailer and uh, I kind of skipped forward to the combat section and I thought this was wild like and I was trying to figure out exactly what, what what's what's going on uh, you guys know I love a good turn-based RPG you guys know that everyone here knows that um, and it looks crazy good but I was trying to figure out like exactly what was happening because like the moves were made and then it looked like everybody went all at once, not like one by one. So I, I'm, I'm a little confused by how exactly we do this. So it's weird. Um, I love Sukuden Grandmaster. The title's raft so Ayo uh, Nokoseki could succeed it. Okay. Uh, so so it looked, this looked really good. I, I, I saw this. And like I, I muted the video, but the sound effects are really good. Like the game looks really good. Like it, it definitely has a full remaster treatment. I think it looks great. Um, I guess a good thing about someone like me playing a game like this is that, like, it'd be my first time experiencing it, right? Like, not knowing anything about it, like, not anything like that. Like, it's good. Uh, Xena, are you, are you into, like, turn-based RPGs and stuff? I don't think we ever talked about that. When it comes to JRPGs, for whatever reason, I prefer them to be turn-based. Um, and that's solely because that's what I uh, got used to when I started 
Final Fantasy. My first Final Fantasy game was 10 and then nice. 10 2. It's one of the greatest, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really great, and they were the first games. Uh, well, 10 was the first game with um, voice acting, so kind of why I got that, but it, it appealed to me. But, um, but yeah, so... But then they moved out of turn-based gaming, and it I that's where I fell off the wagon. So, um... I don't know. I I like turn based for the ease of it. If I don't want to, you know, be super bombarded with giant magical monsters trying to attack you and you need to figure out in real time what powers you need to use and you know um this time this this kind of turn based allows me to think i didn't like rushing like in the in the later games yeah Arn said yes the ease of it not paradigm shift yeah whoo that paradigm shift in 13 <laughs> is is fucking crazy uh oh uh persona persona put something long in chat kind of about the games do you, you want to read that okay yeah uh let's see persona suikoden is a game that revolves around essentially this giant war with a lot of scheming backstory oh uh, revolving around what is essentially Infinity Stone style runes that usually the MCs bear great overarching plot in the ma- uh, in the vein of like say trails and its Orbor- Ouroboros arch arc behind the narrative going on at the front and lots of really good characters to collect. Dang, I like huh. the idea of collecting characters. Like, I love that. That's one of my favorite things about Xenoblade Chronicles is that, like, you're collecting these heroes that, like, you can, like, use their powers. I think that's really cool. I, I like the variety that JRPGs I usually come up with. There's For sure. Yeah, it, it's very regular of them. <laughs> this, I don't mean that as an insult. I just, I like that they do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's main draws of games have like tons you're basically almost like building an actual army damn let's go that's cool as fuck uh so nice. konami did put out a press release Extin- do you, do you want to read the press release they put out uh it's right release, underneath the video oh yeah this one uh, okay yeah so konami digital entertainment uh bb uh, announced the return of suikoden series with 1 and 2 HD Remaster, Gate, Rune, and Dune and Unification Wars launching on the PS4, Xbox One, Steam, and Nintendo Switch in 2023. Uh, announced at the Tokyo Game Show this year, Konami confirmed several fundamental improvements and quality of life features in the upcoming remaster collection. Uh, graphical improvements like pixel sprites and environment art enhanced with new screen effects including lighting, clouds, shadow animations, flicker flames, smoldering smoke, movement of leaves, all that jazz. Um, The effects and direction have been redesigned bringing memorable scenes back to life in more beautiful ways. Uh, New character drawings, um, all character portraits have been updated in HD. HD. Junko Kawano, who designed the characters for the original version of Suikoden, released in 1995, has newly redrawn all the character portraits. Wow. For Suikoden 1, The Great Rune War. Um, there, it doesn't say anything about the second one, but I don't know. Um, sound improvements. Field sound. A, larger, a large number of environmental sounds not found in the original version such as sound of running water in the river, wind, environmental stuff. Um, so you can enjoy an immersive, immersive experience like never before. Uh, there's also battle sound. Uh, sound effects are now in HD. In addition to the impact of 3D effects, the realistic sound greatly enhances the dynamism of the battles. And I, I will say that in that in that video I played, the sound was crazy. Like it was. Are you okay? <laughs> No, I dropped something. I dropped a gummy. On oh. The floor and I'm trying to find it with my feet. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah. So, no, it's totally fine. Uh, go go ahead. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that, like, when I was watching that video, the sound was one of the things that, like, I noticed was really good. Oh, nice. 
Um, game system improvements. Um, many new features have been added, such as dialogue, log, auto battle, and double speed battles. Let's so go. If you're impatient. If you're impatient like I am sometimes. It's just want to get through it. No, I do that. <laughs> um, I uh, see. Raph Prime has a favorite X Tina turn based moment. When you were trying to double backflip 360 spin through a window on a tower and rolling only high enough to get half stuck in the window. <laughs> what game was that? Yeah, what game was that? Favorite X Tina turn based moment? Uh. Let's see. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Um, the the last turn based thing that I think I played was XCOM, and everyone died. Oh, that might have been <laughs> what it was. You, you might have like ran out a window and like yeah, it's probably always three sixty spin through a window oh. on a tower. Is that what he's talking about? <laughs> that, one that of the actually, oh, I don't know. oh one of the very first D and D sessions. Oh, he's going back. He's going back to oh, the Sean Cassidy. Oh yeah, no, I remember that now. Damn, oh, he's going that? back, back. Going back, all the way back. Oh man, no, I do remember the double backflip 360 spin now, because I, because I just really wanted to do something cool, and I didn't realize. So I, I'm, I don't think I was a, I was pretty mid, in my D and D playing. So I, I was just like in the middle of it. So I was, I've already, I've already gotten used to the rules, but then I wanted to make it fancy. Um, so the 360 thing was me be trying to be fancy. I think I succeeded. I, I don't know, Raph, if you remember, did I succeed? <laughs> um, it didn't sound like it. <laughs> it didn't sound like what you described. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, but get I, hash stuck in the window. Yeah. No, no, I didn't. I guess I didn't. Um, oh, that's right. You got stuck halfway. Window. I, I bit on a roll, I guess. But that's typical me. That's what made it memorable. Classic. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, okay, man. So, look, I got to be honest with you guys. You guys, this is the same thing happened with you fucks and, 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 and Xenoblade 3. Like, you guys got so hyped for this Sukuden game, and I'm probably going to have to try it, right? My only <laughs> prayer is that it comes out, like, in late 2023 and not, like, at the top of it. Because, like, there's too much shit coming out of the top of 2023. Like, we got yeah. we got so much stuff coming out. It, it, it's crazy. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know any of these. Yeah, I, like, it, look, it does look good, and it does look like it's up my alley. But the question is... Is how far will I be in the trail series by the end of next year? Probably on like chapter two, the beginning of it. Let's be real. It's going to be a great switch I'll have for sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, gang. So there you go. That's Sukadin one and two. Uh, I, I hope that we were at least informative. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I just want to, I am excited to play these for the first time. Uh, and I, I just couldn't, I, I just I thought about it, could not make a video about it. So I just, cause the community is so hyped for it. Uh, so you go, uh, well, appreciate everyone who's come by to watch this video. And if you like videos like this, please like it, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm of course, Stevie B and that amazing person over there is. x is Ninja. x is Ninja right there. And don't forget, I forgot to mention, you can watch these recordings live every Wednesday at 9 30 PM Eastern ish and join on the conversation just like all those lovely people did okay you awesome nerds we love you so much we'll see you in the next one mm. <laughs>